Hi! So today is another video from the asking you for color combinations on my Instagram stories. And uh, I got two requests actually. One of them was purple and gold. And the second one was berry and gold. So I think I'm just going to do one of them because they are pretty similar. And I picked a berry because I haven't used berry tones in a while and I miss working with berry tones. So um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to use, as usual, a little bit of concealer to prime my eyelids. And by the way, I removed my Christmas tree and uh, I'm really excited for that because I feel like I have so much space right now. I always notice that I feel better when I'm living in a spacious place. Um, I don't like having a lot of stuff in my house for some reason. I just feel like I can think clearly when I uh, see empty spaces. Today I am going to use the berries by Julia's Place because it's obviously <laughs> it has berries in it. Um, I'm going to start with this shade in the corner. I'm going to apply it with a Morphe M506 brush. And I have this thing when I open up a palette that I haven't used in a while, like this for example, I get such a, um, a desire to use it. And um, I have a lot of palettes that I have not used, um, maybe just use them once and that's it. And um, I would love to use them more. Hmm. I will maybe just... Um, when I run out of ideas for looks, I can maybe just uh, pick a palette in my collection and uh, just one look at it. I love opening up a palette and having full creative freedom. Like for example, now I know that I have to use berries and golds, so um, I can't just open up this palette and use the pinks in it for example. So, so I'm starting from my other corner, I think I'm going to do a cut crease today. So I'm bringing it up to my uh, crease level, uh, actually a half cut crease. This, this looks a little bit more pink than it does in the pan. To blend this out I'm going to use this soft thing here, I'm going to take it on another <laughs> Morphium 506 because I have two of those. And uh, I'm going to place it above the first shade and just blend it out into my uh, skin. If you would like to do purple and gold instead, you just switch up the berry tones for the purples and uh, just do the same thing. Like a deeper purple and then a slightly lighter purple. I'm doing little circular motions to blend this. Now I will do the cut crease with a little bit of concealer. Like I said, I'm just going to cut the crease halfway, so not a, not a full cut crease. This style doesn't really suit me, but once in a while I love a nice cut crease. Because I have deep set eyes and um, my crease is already very visible, so it's uh, pretty tricky to do a cut crease on this eye shape. Just gonna use my finger to fade the edge. Okay, now for the gold part, I will pick up the Warrior by Julia's Place and look how gorgeous is that. I'm going to pick this gold here, I think. Uh, this is a Morphe M124 brush. Just going to stamp that above the concealer. I think this is actually too yellowy. I'm going to go for this one instead. That is still pretty yellow. <laughs> the only difference is that it's kind of a dark yellow. <laughs> What if I add a little bit of this copper thingy? Mm. 
I'm guessing that's, that's gold. <laughs> need some kind of a transition between the gold and the um, berry tone. So I think I'm going to pick up this shimmer here. Again, applying it with flat brush. I'm going over this edge here. I'm going to need my blending brush as well. This reminds me that Valentine's Day is really close and I have to do some Valentine's Day looks. Let me know if you have any requests for that. <laughs> okay, next I will take this darker color here. Kind of like a purple berry shade. <laughs> and um, this is a pencil brush, a Morphe 149. I'm going to use this shade to intensify my lash line. Kind of like I did on this eye. So uh, I'm stamping it on my lash line. It doesn't really stick to the shimmer, so that's why I have to press it. And uh, I'm going to connect that with my outer corner. So in my outer corner, I'm kind of blending it into the first shade. And then now, with the brush that I used to apply the first shade, I'm just going to blend it. And I want to press a little bit more in the inner portion. I went ahead and removed that fall off from my under eyes because I had a lot of it. I'm um, going to go straight into foundation. I'm going to mix my Revolution Conceal and Define foundation with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is way too light for me so I have to mix in a little bit of this. This is in the shade F2. I'm going to apply a little bit of that on my hand and I can't get over the sound that it makes. <laughs> Maybe half a pump of this will be enough so it doesn't turn too dark. I think that's fine. I'm going to pick up my Real Techniques sponge and blend the foundation to my skin. Oh, I applied some on my ring. <laughs> okay, maybe this is just a tiny bit too light, but. I think I'm going to fix it with some contact powder. Okay, let's apply some concealer because with this pale face and the dark circles, I'm kind of looking scary. <laughs> so I'm going to apply a little bit of my Stay Naked here. As usual, I'm going to mix it with something a little bit lighter, this Fenty concealer in the shade 140. And I'm going to blend it with the same sponge. Okay, let's add a little bit of cream contour as usual, my Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation in the shade Honey. And my Real Techniques Face Expert brush, going to get the product into my brush and then stamp it under my cheekbones, a little under my jawline, on my forehead as well to make it look a little bit smaller um, a little bit underneath my nose just to lift it up and not really contouring I'm just shading a little bit underneath and around my mouth what I like to do is take my sponge and just blend the edges so the product so the contour melts into my uh, foundation okay I now can start setting uh, first I need to blend in those creases and I will take my Real Techniques setup brush and my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm going to use this one on my under eyes. And uh, the rest of my face I'm just going to set with compact powder, I think. I'm doing little stamping motions. Looking up to get into those creases. Okay, okay. Now for my compact powder I have here my eyes for collection. How is this called? Matte Perfect Powder Foundation. <laughs> Just going to stamp that all over my face. This is a little bit darker and more yellow toned. It's the shade 2020, actually. No, I think this is my shade. But it's going to balance out the color of the foundation. I want to use some powder bronzer as well. I have this Revolution Mega Bronzer that I have not used in a while. Uh, it's pretty warm. It's in the shade warm. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up on my uh, Morphium 405. I'm just going to dust off the excess because it's way too dark for me, but I'm going to do little circular motions to warm up 
my cheeks. Oh, what's this smell? It reminds me of my childhood. I'm not sure if it's crayons or something else. I think it's um the little palettes that we used in painting class. I don't know if you had the white ones. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's how it smells like. Okay, now for blush, I'm going to take my Sigma blush cheek palette. I wanted to create a berry blush, but I'm scared of this shit. I think it's too dark for me. I'm actually going to mix it with this lighter one and see how it looks. I'm going to stamp it above the bronzer. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, highlighter. I'm going to pick my Becca C pop because it's a little bit more on the golden side and I feel like it fits this look. I'm used to my elf one and that since it's not that pigmented I can just go ham with it. With this one, hmm, I went a little bit too hard, <laughs> on my forehead especially. Let me see what a few stamps with my powder brush can do. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the lower lash line. I have this uh, Urban Decay Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Alkaline. It's this uh, very purple tone pencil, which I'm going to apply on my uh, waterline. Okay, this suits the look so well, I'm impressed. Okay, now taking my pencil brush with I think the darkest shade, this one. Just going to smudge that very close to my lash line, not bringing it too low. And then gonna take this berry shade which is actually very pink and uh, blend it and yeah i think that's it for the lower lash line okay i'm going to need a fluffy clean blending brush to perfect the blend we we'll just use it to go over the edges and just diffuse everything okay i will take this shade in the warrior 2 palette and I will use it to highlight my inner corner, just stamping it in my inner corner, and a little bit more underneath my brow, just under the arch. Let's see how a little bit of this pencil looks in my inner corner. I'm just going to do a tiny extension here. It doesn't really stick to that highlighter. I'm going to take a detail brush like this and uh, use this darker shade in the palette and go over the pencil yeah that's pretty cute not that noticeable but but just a tiny bit something <laughs> okay now for my least favorite part i'm going to go off camera and apply some false lashes why do lashes have to be so pretty i hate the process of putting them on but they are so worth it these are the lash beauty uh, lashes in the style chic absolutely gorgeous okay, let's see that lip i'm going to use the boys and berries pencil in the shade dusty brown i do love how the eyelid came out though it looks kind of um, like a sour night type of makeup look mm. this is a makeup forever artist Rouge in the shades of 164. Let's see how that goes. Mm. Interesting. This is this lipstick is very diffused. The color is a little bit darker. If I would have applied it like a regular person would, <laughs> but smudge like this, it kind of looks like a nude pink lipstick which i kind of love and that is everything for today's video i really hope you enjoyed this color combination berry and gold 
it's more pink but let's call it berry just so I can um, be happy with the result <laughs> yeah that's it if you have any other colors or color combinations that you want me to use make sure to write them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to check them out and probably do them that's it thank you so much for watching I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you next time bye